Hello everyone. So for today, I'll be showing you how to install Anaconda Navigator on your device or machine. So, so just go to your browser uh, and then look for Anaconda Python download and or directly go to www.anaconda.com. So this is it, the link. Just click on it and you will be be directed to each uh, home page. So just click on the download or if you want to read um, more about it, so you may do so. So this is an open source. So just click on download and then select uh, which OS you are running and its version. So and bit. So I'll, I'm running under Windows 10 64 bit. So I'll be installing this one. Just wait for it to be downloaded. So once downloaded, just open the installer. So the installer is around uh, 500 MB. So it will show you this window. Just click on the next. Then accept or agree with the user agreement. And you can install the Anaconda for the whole uh, users of your PC or just the current user. I'm just the one using this one. So I just select just me and configure the destination folder. If you want to change, click uh, browse. So just click next and uh, advanced option. You can add the Anaconda path to your environment variable. So you can do this one, but I will just uh, use the default. Then click install. So it may take some time. Once completed, so just click next and next again. Then you can uncheck this one or just leave it like that and then click finish. So it will open the Anaconda site uh, for some uh, guidance and getting started. So we can already open the Anaconda prompt. So just click on the on your Windows, then search for Anaconda tree. And here are the default installed applications under the Anaconda. So you have the Anaconda Navigator. Let's open this one. And also you have the Anaconda PowerShell. Anaconda prompt where you can run your uh, Python script through command line. Uh, you, can, you use this one. You can also use the Jupyter Notebook or Spider. So with, uh, we already opened the Anaconda Navigator. So it will initialize. You will see this symbol while it is initializing. Once it is already done, you will see this uh, interface. So here is the home where you can see the uh, installed uh, applications packaged with uh, the Anaconda. So you can click on the environment to check the libraries that are already installed and not installed. So if you want to install something such as, uh, let's see, Pandas. So let's look for Pandas. So it's already installed. So just click on that installed and then you can look for the library or packages you want to install. Or you can use the Anaconda prompt to install your um, packages. So for example, I want to check if OpenCV installed so not get installed so not installed and cv so it cannot uh, see the open cv so let's try to install uh, open cv so let's go to google chrome and just search uh, how to install open cv in Anaconda. 
So you can do this one or you can check on this one. Anaconda.org. Anaconda.org. So this one will allow you to install uh, OpenCV through your Anaconda prompt. So here you can see the different way to install the package under uh, Anaconda. So you can use Conda install Conda first OpenCV. So let's try this one. So Linux uh, ARM Windows 32, Windows 64. So let's try to install this one. So just open your Anaconda prompt, then paste it. Just click yes. Or why? And so while waiting, uh, yeah. So this shows that uh, OpenCV is already installed. So we can check this on the navigator. And in case you cannot see this one, you can restart the navigator. So let's check. So as you can see, OpenCV is already installed here. So uh, we, we know that uh, we can already use this one. So let's um, try. So let's open Jupyter Notebook and create a file that imports the package OpenCV. So Jupyter Notebook uh, will start and open on your default uh, browser. So let's create. So we have Python scripts here. So I can create here a folder or here. I just create, it will just create here. New Python 3. So let's just import. OpenCV and run. So I think uh, my bad. Uh, it should be oh, uh, CV2. So import CV2 uh, as CV. So then shift enter to run. Let's check if this will be good enough. So it might take time to uh, call it. So once it's already called, so as you can see, uh, there's no error. So you can already use the different methods under the CV, such, such as I'm read, etc. So you can do perform image processing using the CV too. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, see you on my next uh, tutorial.